नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द स्ट्राइक लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट माइनस टू कामा फोर एंड मेकिंग इंटरसेप्ट एंड मेकिंग इंटरसेप्ट उस सम इज जीरो सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम जस्ट लाइक प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम इट सेल्फ ओनली यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट द आंसर सी आंसर इज एक्स माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दट इज शॉर्ट कट बट डोंट अप्लाई शॉर्ट कट लेट एस डू द प्रोसीजर सी लेट द इंटरसेप्ट रिक्वायर्ड लाइन बी ए एंड माइन सी जीरो इक्वेशन ऑफ द लाइन इज एक्स बाई ए प्लस वाई बाई बी इज इक्वल टू वन सब्सटिट्यूटिंग बी फॉर माइनस ए सो दैट इंप्लाइज वी गेट लाइक दिस एक्स बाई ए माइनस वाई बाई ए इज इक्वल टू वन और टेकिंग एल सी एम ए क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई और मल्टीप्लाई बोथ साइड्स विथ ए सो वी गेट एक्स माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू ए से इक्वेशन वन since one passes through minus 2 comma 4 so now we get that is minus 2 minus 4 is equal to a so a is equal to minus 6 from 1 required equation of the line is you can expect it x minus y is equal to minus 6 am i right so x minus y plus 6 is equal to 0 टेंथ प्रॉब्लम ट्रांसफॉर्म द इक्वेशन x plus y plus one is equal to zero into first one slope intercept form second 
intercept form third normal form so after solving the, this problem you will be able to transform the general equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 to the slope intercept form slope intercept form means y is equal to mx plus c now intercept form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 normal form x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p that means now you are going to learn how to transform a general equation into the different forms okay i will explain don't worry this is very very important question for even for board examinations as well as for engineering entrance examinations so just carefully observe the problems so now slope intercept form first one slope intercept form this is first one given equation of the line given equation is x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 now we have to write this one as a function of y take x plus y x plus 1 that side. So, that implies you get like this y is equal to minus x minus 1. See this is in the form of y is equal to m x plus c is completed. So, this has been put in the form of y is equal to m x plus c this is called slope intercept form slope is minus 1 here y intercept is minus 1. So, next second one is intercept form here given equation x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 here we should be very careful just only transfer constant term from left hand side to right hand side. So, x plus y is equal to minus 1 divide both sides by minus 1. What do you get like this now x by minus 1 plus y by minus 1 minus 1 by minus 1. Therefore, x by minus 1 plus y by minus 1 is equal to 1 which appears to be in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 which is the required form. So, this has been put in the form of intercept form and one more form is left what is that? That is normal form, normal form is very very important. Third one normal form normal form or trigonometric form or both are same. So, given equation given equation is x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. In this case also just transfer constant term from left hand side to right hand side. So, x plus y is equal to minus 1, but very careful right hand side constant must be positive otherwise we have to make it positive. So, multiply minus 1 on both sides. both sides. See 
now this becomes minus x minus y is equal to 1. Now, divide both sides by both sides by root of a square plus b square that is root of minus 1 square plus minus 1 square. Do not get any confusion. This is 1 plus 1 that is root 2. So, dividing both sides by root 2 you get minus x by root 2 minus y by root 2 1 by root 2. So, again this can be written x into minus 1 by root 2 plus y into minus 1 by root 2 is equal to 1 by root 2. See this must be in the form of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. But we have to write equivalent cos value equivalent to sin value. Here both are negative. Both are negative means here alpha in third quadrant. Alpha belongs to third quadrant. In third quadrant means you remember one thing 180 plus theta. 180 actually cos 45 is root 2, sin 45 is 1 sorry cos 45 is 1 by root 2, sin 45 is also 1 by root 2. Both are negative means cos of 180 plus 45 or sin of 180 plus 45. Here alpha is nothing but 225 degrees. So, instead of here we can write x cos 225 degrees, y sin 225 degrees is equal to 1 by root 2, where which is in the form of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. This is the normal form.